Bye, Adam. Bye. See you, bud. And just like that, we're secluded on an island. Um, welcome back to another episode of Mav, where we do everything outdoors. My name's Maverick, and today we're going to be spending the night in a hammock in the middle of Lake of the Woods. I guess without further ado, let's get to it. Oh, um, little backstory, actually. My dad caught his PB muskie yesterday. It was a 44-incher, um, the only fish that we caught and saw all day. So kudos to him. Here's a little clip of that. Yep. Turn his head towards me if you can. Yeah, baby! Woo! All right. There you go. Nice fish. All right, give her a measure. Dude, she's almost 45. 44 and a half. That's a nice fish. It's your biggest one ever. Congrats. That's awesome. All right, you gonna side you wanna side? Yeah. Alright. So scooter forward. Just grab her tail. She's like she's almost ready to go. Kick. <laughs> she hit right by the boat. Oh. There she goes. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the suic strikes. Let's go. <laughs> that was sweet. You haven't done that in a while, so. Oh wow. My dad's been throwing that suic all day, and. He's pulling, 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 and at the end of every cast, he's been doing this thing that we call a dead pause. And what that means is that you just pause the bait, it rises up to the surface. So he did that, fish came in, basically barrel rolled on it. Smoked it, yeah. rolled into the boat, Dad says, net's ready, head first, boom, <laughs> done, basket in, new PB. <laughs> Little slime time. You Thank you, it. guys. You no problem, dude. Yeah. yeah. Woo! <laughs> So yeah, if you guys couldn't tell, he's a little bit excited, um, as am I for him. So um, he just left us today. We had a really slow day of fishing this morning. So I've had an idea in my head for a while on camping on an island, and it just so happens that it's kind of working out tonight. So so it's fall time. It's starting to cool off. Um, we've had three days of like warm weather, and I decided, hey, you know what? It's super calm out. Lake of the Woods is never like this. I'm going to camp out on an island. So I've got my hammock in my backpack, some food, and uh, I'm going to go find a little place to hang up my hammock and get a fire going. So stick with me. Let's uh let's explore this island a little bit. All right, guys, so she's all set up now. Got a zero degree sleeping bag that I keep in here. Got my hammock set up. Sitting pretty level, as you guys can tell. Um, there's some tricks to learn how to keep it more level. Um, dealing with like angles in your hands and stuff. I'm not really an expert on that, so I just eyeballed it. But look at this view. <laughs> this view is unreal right now. Not very often do you get a bedroom like this. Right now I'm gonna work on building a little fire pit then getting some firewood together and starting up a fire before bed. Um, I'm gonna cook up some food and then just kind of unwind before I get in my hammock for the night. Alright guys, so I'm having a little panic attack right now. Sun's going down. I can't find kindling. Um, I tried to use some notebook pages. That stuff just burns out really fast. And I'm coming to find out that a lot of the stuff is wet on the island. Um, it did just rain for like 
three days in a row, so I'm not super surprised. Um, I thought that the wood that was higher up in the trees would be dry enough, but I guess we're learning together here. Um, I found some birch bark. It is relatively dry on the outside, but on the All right, so not a bad little fire at all. Um, every single piece of wood that's on here, besides those two pieces of birch, are uh, completely soaked. Like, that stuff in the corner, super wet. But it's burning all right. Um, I'm going to try to cook up a bratwurst here quick, just because I don't know how long this thing is going to last, this wet wood. Um, I'm going to be lucky in the morning if I can get a, uh, if I can even get a flame going, so... Oh wow. Mm. Alright, and I completed dinner. Um, if that's what you want to call it. Oh nice, mosquito dad to the mix. That is the biggest mosquito I've ever seen in my life. Oh. Look how big that thing is. That's huge. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, <laughs> probably would taste better than these brats, but anyway. I'm a little ashamed to call myself a cook on that one, but... Oh my god, it's amazing! It's so good! <laughs> no, it's not. It's definitely the worst brats I've ever cooked in my life. Burnt brats, wet wood, seems like that one start. No muskies. Just, honestly, You'd think that I'd just be defeated at this point, but that's just what happens when you're in the outdoors. I mean, I can't make the fish eat. I can't make the wood dry, and I definitely could have made my brats taste better, but I messed up, and that happens. So <laughs> I guess yin and yang, right? For every good time, there's a bad. So I guess I'm having one of those bad trips, but <laughs> for every bad one, there's going to be a good one, and uh, and I believe that in full. So... Thank you, Burnt Brat, and thank you, Fishless Lake. But I'm going to finish up these nasty charcoal brats and then hop into my hammock, my humble abode for the night. No, are these raspberry bushes? Does somebody know? Either raspberry bushes or poison ivy. Hopefully not the latter. All right, now time to slip into bed for the night. Okay, well, found my way into bed. Good morning. I slept great last night. Besides the fact that I realized my hammock was definitely not level. But still slept, so can I even be mad? So I'm sharing an island with an eagle, if you can't hear. Eagled like three or four or five trees over. Um, we see him every time we're fishing here. He's up in a big pine tree. I wonder if we'll be able to see him. Um, I'm gonna get out of bed here, but before I do, very vocal this morning. Um, but before I do, I just I think this island is pretty infested with spiders. Um, when I was cooking last night, I think I killed about three or four of them. Um, but look at this.
Well, that was my attempt at showing you a spider um, in my backpack, but there's like three of them. Some of them are smaller, but there's three of them that have made a web out of my bag. It's, oh, and there's one right there too. Wow, this is like, this is not working out with this lens. All right, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna get up. came down here to look at my pan and it looks like we had a little visitor on camp last night. You know what those are? Moose, <laughs> moose droppings. Mouse droppings. Sounds the same, sounds similar, but very much smaller. Um, so he got into there and then I guess this is why people um, put their food up, they tie their food up for bears and then for this. there's the culprit yeah so I'm not gonna be cooking any food this morning I don't really want to touch my mouse infested food plus Adam's gonna be here in like 30 minutes I did sleep in a little bit so I'm gonna pack my stuff up get to the other side of the island and patiently await my uh, my ride home my my savior my saving grace my one-way ticket off of this island and then hopefully gonna catch a muskie today so <sighs> All right, well, we made it to the end. All right, well, we made it to the other end of the island. Now all we gotta do is wait for Adam. It's about eight o'clock, so he should be here any time now. Maybe he took a little bit longer getting out of bed this morning, I don't know. Maybe he's getting me a cup of coffee. Maybe I'm just like being super cynical, but. Yay, woo! <laughs> Hi, buddy. Um, I'm just gonna hand you this so that I have free hands. Yeah. Cool. I think that's everything. If it's not, the island gets to eat. Well, we did it. We're back on a boat, and uh, we could go back to camp right now, but we're gonna go musky fishing. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode of Mav. Thank you to Adam for getting me from the island. If you guys want to check out his channel, it's in the description below. But uh, we're going to go do a little bit of musky fishing this morning. Hopefully we're going to have some more luck than we did yesterday. And I guess stay tuned for more episodes. But until next time, you guys already know the drill. Just keep on trucking.